One of the cues that I really like my horses to know is to pick up each of their individual front feet, okay? It's good for a lot of different things, working with a trailer, working with a pedestal, uh, teaching Spanish walk, all kinds of different things, tricks, and also just for practical use. I've found that there's a lot of times that it just is really convenient to have an easy cue to have your horse bring their foot forward for you, okay? So he's not ever done this before. Uh, my eventual goal, I'm not gonna ask him to do it today, I don't think, but my eventual goal is gonna be to have him step up on that pedestal there, or the stump that I'm gonna use as a pedestal. So I'm gonna show you what I do to start with, and you can do this with ropes, but I like to try to not do it with ropes just because um, I like the horse to do it more off of the whip cue. That's just me personally. So I've got a treat ready. And the thing is, if he does anything with that foot, I'm going to give him a treat for it. He doesn't have to like pick it up and bring it forward real perfectly. Even if he just steps it up and down real quick, that's where you start. That's totally fine. So I've got a little dressage whip and I'm just going to tap him on this leg and I'm going to tap up and down, front and back, because different horses are going to have a different cue spot. So I'm going to tap him all around. Good. And see how we just picked it up and put it back down? That's fine. That's all you ask for at first. Good boy. Now I'm going to ask him again. Start tapping him. Tap the back. Tap the front. Tap up and down. And sometimes it takes a while and that's totally fine. Good. Good. But this is usually... Um, at the very beginning like this, this is usually pretty easy to teach for good. So even though he didn't do much, he still picked it up a little bit. Um, but anyway, this is usually fairly easy to get started. And then this is also is a good cue for like when you go to start teaching a horse to bow. Because um, you want them to pick up their front foot back up and then rock back into it. Good. Good boy. So this is really useful for a lot of different things. It's a, just a good foundation. And I always start out tapping lightly and then I'll kind of, I, I never whack them because there's just really no reason for it. All you're going to do is make them nervous. But I'll increase the pressure a little bit and get a little bit more and more annoying. So I'm just going to get one more on this foot, and then I'm going to go to the other side. So if you get in a pickle, then just ask them to step forward. Good. And as soon as they pick that foot up, then you give them a treat. So they learn to associate picking that foot up with the, the treat and the cue. So I'm going to come on over to this side. Grab a couple more treats for him. And same thing, like I said, eventually as you work on this, you'll find a, a spot that your horse tends to respond. Good. But to start with, you can kind of tap him all over on that leg. Now, if you saw with that last one, he didn't pick it all the way up, but he did kind of start to take the weight off of it. Good. So you reward them for any little try, because if you ask for too much, they're not going to know what you want, and they're just going to get frustrated, and you're going to get frustrated. So any little tiny thing with that foot, you just give them a treat for it. Good. Until it gets real consistent. What a good boy. So he's picking it up. Seems to be picking it up a little bit better on this foot, maybe a little bit easier for him. Good. Good. One more time on this side. Good. Good boy. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to grab a couple more trees and I am going to do the other side again because uh, he didn't, wasn't quite as, as quick with his left foot. So I'm going to work on this side again a little bit more. Yeah, treats. Good. So even though he moved off, which isn't really what I want, I waited and released when he picked up that foot. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to ask him to stop. Ooh. 
Good. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to walk him back around so he's centered for you. Good. Good boy. Oop. I don't want him walking off. If he moves a little bit, it's okay, but I don't want him to just walk off. Good. Good. Well done. Much better. Okay, now I'm just going to ask him again on the other side just a few times for good measure, and then I'll let him be done. Good. I'm going to bring him forward a few steps. Good boy. Because again, I don't particularly want him backing up or going forward. I'm not going to scold him for it. It's just not really what I want. Good. Very nicely done. Okay, so I'm going to call it good with him today. And we're going to keep working on it and progressing. And eventually, I'd like him to be able to step up onto that pedestal. I'd like to teach him to bow. And I'd like to maybe see if we get a little bit of a Spanish walk, depending on how much time I have with him. Now I'm going to work with Pippin on picking up his feet. And I think he's going to be my trick horse right here because he's a little bit more into those sorts of goofy things. Uh, Mary, I think, is going to be more of a workhorse. So we'll see how they turn out. But just from their personalities, Pippin has a lot more of a personality of a trick horse. So we'll see if he, how well he, he picks this up. This is going to be his first trick that he's learning. So like I did with Mary, I'm just going to tap the whip all up and down his leg. Front and back. He is thinking about it. He's not really sure what I'm asking for. Like I said, if you get stuck, you can kind of ask him to take a step forward. As soon as he picks it up, I'm going to release and give him a treat. I'm just asking a little forward, and he's not really sure. Good. Good boy. Ask him again. Good. So even though, like I said, I don't really want him moving around, uh, whatever it takes in the beginning to get that foot to pick up. tapping up and down front and back until you get something okay I'll ask him to move a little bit very close so close there good boy good okay I'm gonna switch around to the other side because some horses learn better on the left and some learn better on the right and so you just want to play with it I don't really want them sneaking forward though. Good boy. So you just want to play with it and see which side they're better on. And eventually you do of course want them to be able to do it equally on both sides with everything. You want to make your horse ambidextrous is the goal. But when you're first teaching something it's you know, you, it's okay to teach them on the easy side first. Then sometimes it's a little bit easier for them on the hard side after they've already learned on their easier side. Oh, he's close. Good. Good boy. Good. That was a nice Spanish walk kind of response. Very good boy. And 
And this is a good easy trick for anyone, any horse to learn and any person to be able to teach their horse if you're just starting with the trick training. It does take patience, but it's not, not very complicated. Good, good boy, good job. So he's a little bit slower than his brother was to just pick up his feet initially. And that's fine, we just keep working on it. Ooh. Good, a little quicker response that time, good boy. So he seems to be good just like right behind his knee seems to kind of be his spot on this leg here. Good. I think he's going to have a really pretty Spanish walk because he's already really going, wanting to take that foot forward. Good. Good boy. Now I'm going to bring him forward a couple steps because I don't really want him backing up. Ooh. Good boy. Ooh. Good boy. Okay, ask one more time on this foot. Good. Then I'm gonna grab a couple more treats and go over to the other side. Ooh, ooh, good boy. Good. See, sometimes going over to the easier side, then they're able to kind of connect the dots a little bit and figure out what you want. What a good boy, that was very good. Good. See, now he's picking it up on this side really well because he figured it out on the other side. So you just play with your horse and figure out what works with them. Don't get too stuck on any particular way of doing things. What a good boy. So that was super easy. I'll just go back to the other side and see if it's, it's that easy on this side now where he just picks it right up. Good. Good, now you're getting it. Okay, I'll go one more time with his left front foot and then I think we'll call it good for today and we'll just keep working on it. Good, good boy, very well done. Now Cheyenne's pretty good at the Spanish walk and I'm just gonna show you how I cue her so you have some idea of what you're going towards. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cue each step right now where I'm out on the ground. You can do this from in front of the horse or you can do it from standing at their shoulder over here like this in a leading position and it just is going to depend on each horse is going to be a little bit different some will do it better from the front and some will be better from the side it depends on what you're looking to do with them as well so for her i've got her trained to go from the front and so what i'm going to do is cue each step and i'm going to pay attention to how she's standing so i know which step i should cue first what does it look like she's more naturally going to step with and it's going to be that right one good girl so I'm going to cue each step. I have my verbal cue for her is big. And then the kissing noise is for her to walk. Okay. Because you should be, have both where your horse will stand still and pick up the feet. But you should also then work towards like I am with, with Quest. Work towards getting them into the walk. And then that's how you get the Spanish walk. So I'm just going to ask her to start with for just a few steps before I give her a treat. Big. Big. So I'll give her a little tap. Good. Good, good girl, and I'll give her a treat. So she, see, she didn't quite go into the Spanish walk right from the beginning, but that was just our first warm-up one. So I'll turn her around and, and ask her again. And after a couple of practice ones, then she usually can do it real good and even do it from me riding. Okay, Spanish walk, big, big, good, big, 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 big. Good, good girl, good job.
Now, and then you can do all kinds of other stuff with it. Um, you can, that's one way to get them counting, where you have them count by stepping. There you go, good. And paw one, two, three, four. And so you can work on that standing. And then you can also eventually get to, I haven't really done this with her, because it's not a trick that I particularly care about personally, but a lot of people like to teach like a salute. Good girl. And so you can get them to bring that foot forward and hold it forward. So I'm just gonna keep cueing her until she'll hold it forward. Good, good. Even holding it picked up is fine to start with. And then eventually you encourage them to come forward. So it's a really, having them pick up their foot when you tap the whip is really the foundation for a lot of the different stuff like I showed you. So I really encourage you to teach your horse to do that, even if it's just so that they pick up their feet better when you go to, to pick their feet out and clean them and stuff or for the farrier. But it really is a good foundation and there's so many things that you can do with it. And I would recommend that you go with what the horse is more inclined to do. Some horses may be more inclined to do a salute. Other horses may be more inclined to do a Spanish walk or whatever. So just don't, the thing with the trick training and the liberty work is not to get too caught up on like this ideal of, of what you think it should be. Have fun with your horse. Go with what your horse's natural potential is and what they seem like they want to do. And then just play with it and go from there. And you'll have more fun than, than if you have this idea in your mind that your horse has to do this, that, and the other. So just play with it. Have fun. You know, give your horse lots of praise and treats and just make it a good relaxing time for you and your horse. So we've got a crazy storm blowing outside, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we can't work with the horses. So we're lucky to have the carport here, but you may even just be able to play with your horse underneath their shelter in their stall or in a grooming area or something like that. So there's still those little things that you can do to still have some bonding time with your horse, even when you can't be riding or really working outside. So what I'm gonna do with him is show you where he's at with the Spanish walk. So you saw with Mary and Pippin, I was just starting to teach them to pick up their feet off of the whip cue. And then you saw with Cheyenne actually doing the Spanish walk. So he's in the in-between stage. He picks up his feet on cue pretty much every time, but he's learning to put that into a walk. So I'm gonna show you how that works. To start with, every time I come in to work with him at the Spanish walk, I start with just asking him to pick up his feet, just to make sure that as a review, we've got that much. So I just ask him to pick up his left foot, Boy. And ask him to pick up his right. Good boy. And I didn't even have to touch him. He's really on top of it. Good job. Okay, so what I do for this teaching the Spanish walk, I'm just going to back him up a little bit here so we have room. Good. Um, what I do with the Spanish walk is then I ask him to pick up his foot, but then I pull him forward. Okay? Good boy. So I ask him to pick up his foot, but then I ask him forward. Good. And it doesn't matter if it was a really, really big step or really showy or anything like that. I just want him to pick up his foot real high, like a Spanish walk sort of thing, and then just take a step forward with it. It doesn't matter if it's real pretty yet or not. So then I'm going to ask him same thing on the other foot. I'll ask him to pick it up, big, and then I'll ask him to come forward, big. But he has to pick it up first. Big, good. Big, good. Now he steps forward. Good boy. And I'll give him a piece of carrot. Good job. Ask him again on the other side. Big, good. Well done. And once more on the left. Big, or the right. You can tell that he's. He's better on the other side than he is on this side. Big. He's got to pick up his foot good, though. He can't just walk for it. There you go. Big. No. He can do a little bit better than that. I want to see him really pick up that foot and then take the step forward. Nope. Good. Good. No, you can do a little bit better. There you go. Good boy. I want to see him step forward. There. That was better. Good boy. Good. And so it just takes lots of practice and I keep working with them like that. And as they get really motivated by the treats and learn what you want, they start getting a lot more showy with it. And then after you can get one step at a time really solid, 
then it's usually pretty easy to then start asking them like you have to get it alternating too first like you get them doing one step at a time really well and then you get them switching back and forth from left to right sometimes at that stage you'll have horses that'll like want to spanish walk with one foot and then just have the other front leg just step normal and so you have to kind of get them used to alternating and that's why like when, once they're at his stage i pretty much make a habit to not stay on the same side like I keep switching back and forth and not asking multiple times on the same side unless he's having a little bit of a problem with it. But once they're at this point, like with the boys, where they're just starting out, I'll just start on one side so that they can figure out like that I want them to pick up that foot. But once they get to this stage where you're asking them to walk forward, keep switching back and forth so that it already is getting into their mind that it's going to be an alternating thing, that they need to be the left and then the right and back and forth. So then once you get them taking one step, then you get them taking two steps with one with each front leg and then once they get that down good then it's usually it's pretty easy then you just start increasing the number of steps before you give them a treat and it's usually is a pretty easy trick as long as you stay with it and keep the practice and can keep them motivating forward you don't want them to get into the habit where they're just standing still and picking each foot up good boy but I'll keep working on it with him and practicing a lot and he's pretty showy so he should have a really nice Spanish walk when we're done